This is Gray Area's 15th year, and to celebrate this anniversary, we've been in a whole year programming focus on access. These artistic projects we've created are being presented at the 9th Annual Gray Area Festival we're calling Plural Prototypes. Our festival is reimagining cultural infrastructure to work for a more diverse set of social groups. So the two commissioned prototypes that were developed by the artists will be showcased here at the Gray Area Festival. We were so pleased that we were able to support Indira Allegra and Melissa Malskun's projects in Viverse. Viverse is an open and user-centric 3D space that connects people from all walks of life to a boundless virtual world. Texari is a mental health platform that weaves together text and images that are associated with different people's experiences of loss. I wanted to think about how an experience of loss that you have, an experience of loss that I have, how could we weave something together from that and make a memorial that would actually mean a lot more to both of us than a cast iron statue in the middle of a public square. There's a waterfall that's in the center and a forest. By virtue of moving through a space, you come to a different perspective or maybe another kind of understanding about your circumstance. We've done a lot of work with the sound in the environment to respond to people in a really soothing way. But I hope that people can experience when they're there and that they feel that they're part of something which is larger than themselves. I'm excited to share Deaf Club in the Metaverse. You can go in and have a 3D experience and interact with deaf artists from around the globe. We learn a lot with working with Melissa and collaborating with her ideas of incorporating the deaf community artworks into the metaverse. You can see their work, some videos or footage of deaf signers, experiences of elements of deaf culture and deaf experiences and understand what makes us unique, how we communicate visually and different ways of being. Their proposals were proposals that really spoke to the Vibe Arts and Viveverse teams. We thought they spoke to very different aspects of the metaverse. Gray Area and Leonardo are very well respected art tech humanities organizations, and we were really honored that they allowed us to collaborate as part of the Cryptech Metaverse Lab. Cryptech Incubator comes out of a set of conceptual and historical interests that are rooted in the Bay Area. We're really interested at Leonardo in leveraging creativity for social justice and transformation. We realized that there was a real lack of disability representation in the metaverse, and it can be really different for people with different physical abilities, for example. Through these commissions, the artists faced challenges of addressing accessibility in immersive environment. This is actually a very underexplored area when developing new technologies. It's an experiment in access, in looking at what a deaf person's experience is in VR, the ways in which we will have an immersive experience. When I think about access, I think about the intimacy that arises in relationship when a person feels safe enough with you to let them know what they need to really be present with an experience. For me to be about the business of responding to that. It is absolutely critical to have cross-disability collaboration and every level of design. I think thinking creatively about access also affords us the space to grow and to learn from it. I think it really needs to be part of the creative R&D and this was a very special opportunity for engineers and project managers and all levels of employees at HTC across the Viverse and Vivarts teams to really have direct feedback from the artists. Working with the artists, we were able to actually drive innovation to broaden the user experience regarding their design and how they want to address accessibility in their metaverse and how they envision their world is a very good learning process for both sides. And I think that is one of the initiatives and one of the intentions of this project. The goal of the Cryptech Metaverse Lab is to create a more inclusive online world by directly engaging people of different backgrounds and perspectives with Metaverse technologies in their development so they can create a platform which better suits their needs and by doing that builds a better world for everyone. This is just the beginning and we hope to continue the Cryptech Metaverse Lab to engage more people and build a better online world. <laughs>